hey my youtube ladies and gents i'm just coming to just drop a, a video right quick it's early it's 11 30 i have real estate transaction today at 12 o'clock so i was waiting outside because it doesn't start to 12 o'clock so i figured let me just do a quick video this video is going to be very short very straight to the point but just a few tips for my notary my mobile notary people um in these notary streets today this video gonna be about power of attorney i don't even know where to start you guys i really don't for real i don't even know where to start i got a call yesterday and this is why why this video is because y'all have to be very careful when getting called for power of attorneys when i get calls for power of attorneys i'm very specific on the questions i'm asking I'm asking who's giving the power of attorney, who is the agent, and where is this power of attorney taking place? Because so I can know the setting I'm going into and why we're doing this power of attorney. If it looks shady, it's shady. If your spirit say it's shady, it is shady. Let me say that again. If your spirit say it's shady, it is some shady funny business going on and just leave and don't even uh -uh, don't don't waste my time so i got a call yesterday for a power of attorney the guy called me and told me that he wanted to um i'm sorry i'm looking over because they think i'm talking to myself um i'm at, i'm outside so they think i guess i'm talking to myself okay so i got a call for a power of attorney which i do a lot of power of attorneys and this is my second power of attorney that i turned down and was like no i'm not doing this y'all crazy don't try me today give me my travel fee and going on by my business because they will try you in these streets they will try you they will whole try you out here but i be letting them know baby play with your mammy not me not me play with your mammy so the guy called me let me get to the story right quick so the guy called me he was like i need to get something notarized i was like okay i was like who are we getting this notarized for he was like my wife is for her cousin her cousin is sick and her cousin wants to give her a power of attorney to my wife i was like okay is she mentally ill is she sick like what's the background he was like well i just know she's sick i don't know the pacifics all my wife called and told me hey meet me at my cousin's house with the mobile notary so we can do a power of attorney i said cool okay he asked me what my fee was i let him know yada 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 it'll be 160 it was probably like 15 minutes away from me so that ain't even where the story began i get to the place he is there the guy is there his wife is there with their babies and the cousin that they said was sick she was there when i walked into very nice very very nice home very very nice very nice home but you can tell there was it was it was dark it was chaos in that house it was some spirits I, i'm sorry but um i, I know when it, when i when, when my spirit know it's some spirits in that house because i know anyway so i get there she opens the door and she said, where are we going to do the power of attorney? I said, first of all, I thought you were going to have two witnesses here. I explained to your husband that we need two witnesses to do this power of attorney. She was like, oh, she's going to go downstairs and find someone to do a, be a witness. She wanted the ladies in the leasing office to be a witness. I was like, okay, as long as we have two witnesses, you know, we can do this. So when I got there within five minutes, she brought out the power of attorney papers. The wife did the cousin that's mentally ill you can tell she did have an issue like she was schizophrenia bipolar i don't know but it, it it was to that extent it was something mentally wrong with her i didn't know that but she still had snap that she knew something wasn't right even in her unstableness she knew something wasn't right so I was like, okay, your cousin giving you power of attorney over, over her, correct? She's like, yes, yeah, she's sick. I've been getting a lot of calls from her. She don't answer the phone. She's walking the streets, you know, odd hours of the day. She don't answer the phone for days. And she's, she's on a lot of antidepressants. I was like, okay, that's understandable. So we get in the room. The house is very, very, very dark, very dark. So I get to the lady. The lady told her in front of her, 
I'm not signing those papers. She told her right in front of the lady. She's like, I'm not signing those papers. And the lady was like, well, I'm going to say a fake name. Well, Tiffany, you told me you were going to sign the papers for because you're going to get evicted and I need to take over your lease and handle your finances. And the lady was like, no, you don't. I have, My lawyer has already done power of attorney um, for me. And then the lady was like, no, he hasn't. This is something different. This is something different. And I'm like, no, it's not nothing different. If the lady just said her attorney has power of attorney papers for her, why are you saying, no, this is something different. This is for, for your lease because you finna get evicted and all this other stuff. I'm like, ma'am, we not finna do this because she literally, as a notary public, and, and I'm, I've been oath in, if a person said they're not going to sign it, they not going to sign it. So she was like, no, we spoke about this, that she was going to sign it. I was like, I don't care what you guys spoke about, but the lady just said she's not signing it. Even though I do see she is mental unstable for my protection and to keep me protected, I'm not doing this. So can you give me my travel fee? So she's like, could you give us five minutes? I was like, I'll give you five minutes, but it really don't even matter because she's saying she's not signing those papers and that is enough for me to get on by my business baby do not play with me not today give me my travel fee so i can go on by my business you try one you ain't trying me today baby the lady was crying it was like i just want her to get help and i want to help her i'm like in my mind i'm like no you trying to take over her finances and trying to get some money that she has because i can tell she had some type of money i don't know i mean she not because she had a lot of designer things but her house was just full of just designer designer um bags and 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 red bottoms everywhere i don't know what she did who knows you know in this day and age so she was like can you just give us five minutes i'm like yes but while i'm waiting in my mind i knew i was leaving i said but while i'm waiting i need my travel fee my 50 dollars travel fee because baby you tried one but you tried the wrong one today so whatever they were talking about the lady wasn't even trying to hear she was like blanking out and was like i'm not doing that even in her like dysfunction she was like i'm not doing that neither to say these people will holy holy try you out here in these notary mobile notary streets i'm telling you they would try you for real and i'd be letting them know ma'am it is five o'clock and you playing with me on my time with legal documentation of a as serious as a power of attorney and you want me to sign it and then tell me can i wait five minutes for this foolishness no, 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 not, uh-uh, not on my time, you ain't, uh-uh, you tried the wrong one today, baby girl, uh, uh so I was asking the, um, husband, I said, do you know the background, he was like, uh, uh she just told me to call you over here and meet you over here, I was like, mm. the husband wasn't even saying much because he knew the shit <laughs> was janky, he knew it was a whole jankiness going on with her, anybody in their right mind, I ain't always in my right mind every day, but I get, I get up every morning and pray God keep me in my right mind. Every day I'm kind of a little thrown off, but this day I wasn't thrown off. I was in my right mind and she was like having like a, was crying. It was like, I just want her to sign the power of attorney. And I'm just sitting up here like, I don't know where you going with them fake tears or whatever you got going on, baby girl. But, um, we ain't doing no power of attorney but what i'm about to do i'm about to get, collect my travel fee and going on by my business and that was that of that so this is just a friendly reminder is be careful be very careful with power of attorneys i'm like i'm so strict on my power of attorneys mostly my power of attorneys do come from nursing facilities in the hospital and i'm pretty sure these are most of my power of attorneys they're elderly like i know they're sick and they're, they're you know their daughters or their sons or or you know or godchildren are going to take care of them you know what i'm saying it's not like um i'm 23 and my cousin who's 52 the lady was 52 years old and my cousin is 52 and she's giving me power of attorney what uh-huh girl I, I, um, I'm from the hood, baby. 
And I done seen all type of scams and all type of lies. So that is my tip for today is when you in these mobile notary streets, be safe and don't let these people play with you with these power of attorneys. Don't, don't, don't even let them. Oh, and I also wanted to um, let you guys see my new badge as well. I got me a badge. I see most people have like the ten um or the tenor around their neck. I didn't want to do that. I just rather just have my name and going on about my business. So until next time, I'll see you guys later in these mobile notary streets. Bye.